It's fishing on a mission. I feel like one of the nights of the round table. Dive, dive, dive. Anytime you see it, it's just like a pest. You got it. You got to eliminate them. So anybody that's in this community knows it's a problem. The problem: lionfish. You're not supposed to be here, gentlemen. An invasive predatory fish that's destroying the delicate balance of the underwater ecosystem. These spiny striped creatures belong in the Pacific, but during an aquarium breach in the 80s, they were dumped into the Gulf. Year by year, the population has exploded, wrapping around Florida, up the East Coast, and down into the Caribbean, wiping out native fish populations that may never recover. Oh, yeah. They pose such a big threat to our fish and our reefs, Florida Fish and Wildlife created the Lionfish Challenge, paying people to be the predator for a fish that doesn't have any. We dove along with two groups of local spear fishermen who are doing their part to reduce the population. What makes lionfish so dangerous is that they reproduce like crazy and they don't have predators. So if the lion is the king of the jungle, the lionfish is the dictator that takes no prisoners out here. When you see a lot of lionfish, you don't see anything else. And that's exactly what we saw. Down at 100 feet, we found this big lionfish and no other fish in sight. Now just watch how the lionfish reacts to us. He's fearless, even when we get right up close to him, even when a spear touches him. By getting involved, we are helping to preserve the natural resource that thrives in this area. It's really important for people to, to, to do that and try to harvest as many lionfish as possible. Lionfish can reproduce at age one, compared to five to eight years old for other reef fish. They spawn every four days. An average female can spawn more than three million eggs a year. They can thrive from shallow water down to a thousand feet in all temperatures. They're covered in 18 spines that contain a painful venom. Those are the little stingers, huh? Yeah. This little device is called a zookeeper, and it's basically like a diaper genie, but for lionfish. It allows the fishermen to grab them and stuff them in here, ideally without getting stung. These fishermen never leave shore without at least one zookeeper on board. But as fast as they're spearing them, they know thousands more lionfish are hatching. If you don't take care of this problem, it'll t affect your whole fish supply, so you want to go and get a you know, a snapper or a grouper at a restaurant, there's not going to be any left if we don't take care of this now. 